Uh, good afternoon. My name is uh, Mahavali Rajan. Uh, I go by Rajan Mahavali Rajan. I was uh, one of those uh, standing outside uh, the hall distributing flyers for the notices. And there was one gentleman, particularly one gentleman, came to me and asked me, what is your concern? I said, well, my concerns are written here. You can read through and find it. I represent an organization called United Democratic Cultural Tunnel Canadians. And we have clearly stated what our concerns are. And we neither support the tunnel nationalism that has taken us to the extreme level and destroying the society. And at the same time, we do not support the singular oppression that was unleashed by any form of government function. Now, Honorable Minister Vasudev Nanyakara, I like to call him uncle because I know him from my childhood. I'm Namu's brother and my father was Vipanamalam, contested the election under the Communist Party. Later he joined himself with the Tamil United Liberation Front, which I didn't like it personally, but that was his choice. So, addressing the issue of language, I had my personal experience when I was living in Ottawa. I had a friend of mine, Singhalese friend, his name is Sarath B. Alves. One day he invited me to his house. And I went to his house and his mother offered me a cup of tea. I said, sure, but mother doesn't speak in English, so I had to communicate with her in Singhalese. I do know Singhalese, but there are times I get confused very much. So I told her, I wanted to say, I will come later and have a cup of coffee or tea. Then I said to her, uh, instead of saying, Paseyan, I told her, Piti Paseyan. <laughs> it was a slight confusion. And I took my car, went by the front. The old lady went to the back door and waited for me with a cup of tea. <laughs> so the son of the Alvis called my house. I was in deep sleep at the time. He said, where are you, Raja? My mother is waiting for you with a cup of tea. I said, no, I told her that I'm coming late. And he said, well, that's not what she said. She said, uh, you are coming to the back door. <laughs> Why would I come to the back door to your house? That would be interpreted differently. So, anyways, the language confusion has existed in our country for decades. And I'm very happy. Honorable, Honorable Minister Vasudev Nanyakara has taken this uh, very important task, implementing or correcting the current situation to a better choice. I also like to address my dear friend Chris Chandra Sagara and his concerns. I really have a question for him and others like him. When I say others like him, the people who closely associated with the Tamil nationalist extremist and collected money, funds in this country for supporting terrorism. And the funds that collected here never went to the hands of those refugee towns in Sri Lanka. Or to rehabilitate those people who were affected by the war, including the Tamil Tigers who fought the final war with, with bare foot. They didn't have a shoe, they didn't have proper equipment, they were left alone while these people here in Canada enjoying luxury with the money collected from the public. Merlin was a former candidate of PC party. Actually, in fact, I went for a campaign meeting one time. She may remember me as a rioter because <laughs> I end up distributing flyers. Uh, Minister Jason Kelly was there, the uh, Citizenship and Immigration Minister. On that day, I published a letter asking to the P 
PC party to clarify their connection because one of the PC candidate who contested in Scarborough, his picture was put alongside with NDP candidate. My question is, how could this Socialist Party NDP become partnered with a PC party? <laughs> all is done in the name of Tamil nationalism. They all gang up together. They have infiltrated all the parties, all political parties in Canada, clearly infiltrated by the Tamil nationalists. And don't think these are the true representatives of Tamils. These are elected members because of one of the reasons the Sri Lankan government's failure to implement the necessary changes immediately. And also, I like to request the minister, please consider coming up with a media strategy to address the false propaganda that is being carried out in North America. I welcome Mr. Vasudeva. I have also published a book that was published in 2009. The title of the book is Tamil Trans Nationalism, a Convenient Concept. How it became a convenient concept for criminals and underworld members to cash out of this suffering. Thank you. Mahavadi, thank you uh, for refreshing my memory about the times when you first saw me. Yes, we are unanimous that there shall be no oppression by anyone against anyone. That is the rule of law. <coughs> and that is democracy. <coughs> but very unfortunately, in any country at some stage of its history, there are unresolved matters, contentious issues, which are politically to be dealt with. When not dealt with, they overflow into the activities of armed insurrection or war. As we have been told, I can't remember the name of the uh, author, but famous name. Yes, war is uh, politics by other means. War is politics by other means. When politics has not been democratically resolved, then it plows of it. Plows of it. Then it becomes a matter of violent conflict. So the oppressions that went on in the northern parts against the urge of the Tamil people to have their national identity recognized. The oppression that went on under different leaders, military leaders against the Tamil and Tamil speaking people for what they stood up for and demanded, for what they agitated, for what they aspired are irreversibly wrong. But that was it. I was a member of, I was in the law college when in 1962 a Satyagraha movement was very badly, very badly assaulted by the armed forces. We passed a resolution in the law college condemning Felix Das Bandarai for the excesses committed in managing the Satyagraha movement, the excesses of oppression. So that is what we could have done where we were. Where we were. But the Sinhalese people as a community, at least substantial sections of it, did not rise up to defend the rights of the Tamil people in order to have their demonstrations or agitations. Why? Why? It was entirely because the Sinhalese could not accept a separation of the country. Well, 
It could be asked. Well, this is our land, our area. If we want, we should be able to separate. I mean, that's very easily said. But the Sinhalese majority in the country, living in the south, west and the east, would not accept a separation and have another sovereign state set up in the country where the question of borders will be an ever and perpetual disputing reason to continue a war. Therefore, the war became the next stage of the process, historical process. I said, well, we can't get anything by Satyagraha or by, by any other means, any other methods. Therefore, we have to fight the war. Armed struggle has already begun. Part of the operation was a response to the armed struggle that had begun. Maybe my mind is not very clear about the sequence of events. However, the oppression was there. Along with the oppression came the reaction of armed struggles, armed actions. Along with that came the reaction of full-scale attacks. And then the resultingly or resultantly we know that a war was declared by the LTT, whether declared or undeclared, they fought a full-scale war. That's how we came to that nasty disaster that we have suffered, how we will leave it behind in the past and then try to move forward and see what we can achieve. <coughs> then about the... Yes, we must all take up clear positions as the Democratic Tamil Cultural Canadian Organization of Canadian, Canadian Tamil Services. We need to take up. Yes, lands. Lands is another supine in devolution. There can be a joint land commission between the center and the provincial council or with each provincial council to discuss the utilization of the land. It is not a reserved subject nor is it a devolved subject. It will become a joint commission where land will be land will be considered, you know, we all know we have scarce extensive land, how best it should be utilized, subject to the basic fundamental condition that there shall be no colonization of the areas of the Tamil speaking people with Sinhalese people brought from the south. That is the primary condition. I think that will be a condition that will be discussed at the <coughs> select committee or discussed with the government when the TNA comes in and other bodies come. Devananda will not accept colonization. Devananda is the minister of this government and he will clearly say and others in the hill country, several representatives, many of whom are ministers, will raise the matter and we will come to an understanding of a joint commission, how to utilize and how to make available the lands to the province as well as to the centre according to the needs that arise as we go along. Something like that should be one way of getting over that matter. As regarding the police, I said it can be started with the small offences or the traffic offences. Similarly, we begin to then get over our single people then begin to get over the fears, the imaginary fears. Some are instilled fears for a long Here is our member from Point Pedro. I recognize you, yes. My dear, you're welcome. He contested the last local government election under our party's uh, nomination and he won. I congratulate him. I was there for his campaign in Point Pedro. And we want you back very soon. Yes. Then, we organizations here 